Present simple questions made simple. Hi, you already know how to make statements in the present simple tense and I sure hope that you have practiced and you are all set and ready to learn questions. If you have not watched the beginning of this particular series, stop this video now and watch the previous videos, which I include below, to make sure that you are ready to learn about questions. Today, we will focus on yes and no questions. Next week, we will look into open-ended questions. And in weeks to come, I will show you how to create questions with the verb be, and after that, we will talk about questions and model verbs such as must, should and could. So, loads of questions are coming your way very soon. Let's dive in. Yes, no questions for today. Step 1. Take any statement in English and use any verb apart from the verb be. We'll keep it for later to make things easier. These are some of my sentences about myself. I love Paris. <laughs> I usually drink coffee first thing in the morning. I seldom watch horror movies alone. I listen to audiobooks every single day. Step 2. To create questions, all you have to do is to add do in front of these statements. Do I love Paris? Do I usually drink coffee first thing in the morning? <laughs> Do I seldom watch horror movies alone? Do I listen to audiobooks every day? Yes, I do. I do all of the above. What about you? To ask you, I will change the person from I to you. So, here are some sentences. Do you love Paris? Do you drink coffee first thing in the morning? Do you watch horror movies alone? And do you listen to audiobooks? That's it! This is how easy it is! All you have to remember now is that if you want to ask about somebody else, so about he, she or it, do will change into does. So you will say does she love Paris? Does he drink coffee first thing in the morning? Does Tim watch horror movies alone? Or does Anna listen to audiobooks? And one more important thing here. The golden rule of English language. Always, but always, only conjugate the first verb in the sentence. Only. So, looking at the following sentences, you will say He has many good friends. She runs business meetings every day. A car drives faster than anyone can walk. We conjugated the first verb in each of the sentences. So, we said he has, she runs and the car drives, right? But once you ask a question to those statements, you will find that do will become the first verb in the sentence. So it will be the only one that will need to be conjugated. Let's have a closer look. Let's have some statements and see how the questions are going to form. He has many good friends. A question will be, does he have many good friends? Do is the first verb here, so it has changed into does, while have being the second verb had to stay in its most basic form. Same goes for she runs business meetings every day. Does she run business meetings every day? And a car drives faster than anyone can walk. A question will become does a car drive faster than anyone can walk? The same rule applied. Do being the first verb um, referring to she and it had to change into does, while run and drive being second verbs in these sentences had to remain untouched, so in their non-conjugated forms. That's it! 
This is all that you need to know about creating yes-no questions in English. And believe me, questions with what and why and how are equally as simple. Just wait till next week and you'll see. But before we end for today, a little something for you. Look at the chart. How will you ask these questions? Just a quick sample from myself and I'm going to let you practice on your own, but make sure to write down some of the questions that you will create in the chat below and let me know how well you're doing. Here are some of my examples. Do you speak English? Do they eat oysters? Does he wear glasses? Does she sing well? Okay, that's me done and it's now your turn. Enjoy and have fun and if you want to get a larger version of this particular exercise along with all the answers, click the button below and download it free of charge. And remember, subscribe, share, click the like button and join me here next week for more grammar made simple and easy and for more great practice. See you soon. Take care. Bye.